Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. And this video, I'm just gonna talk about a couple little fun things and a couple of uh, pieces of big news from Amazon for those of you that care about Amazon, uh, whether it's selling or buying. Um, the number one thing I wanna talk about is that for those of you that don't know, and I'll link a story down below, Amazon has um, restricted the music category. Um, that's for like music media, like CDs and uh, LPs. Uh, just different kinds of, um, of music media that you would uh, normally sell. A lot of it uh, FBA, some of it fulfilled by merchant. But a lot of sellers got emails from Amazon, um, and they got one of three emails. One was asking for invoices of your suppliers, which is a typical thing that Amazon does in restricted categories. Uh, for those of you that don't know or don't sell on Amazon, um, Amazon requires you like DVDs, CDs, and, and several other um categories of restricted items and these are these can be restricted for uh, several different reasons it could be high risk it could be high fraud um, it could be a well counterfeited uh, category which obviously DVDs and, and music fall in that uh, I'm actually surprised it took this long for them to restrict music but basically they want you to prove where your stuff is coming from so they know that it's not pirated or bootlegged um, and as many Amazon sellers will tell you if you weren't gated back in the day and you're kind of grandfathered along getting ungated now is is it's impossible. It's hard. They don't accept invoices. You can't show them that you bought boxes of, uh, of CDs from the flea market. This just doesn't cut it. It won't work. Um, so that's making things really difficult. Um, some sellers got an email that their stuff was just removed and they're gated, like done. They need to go to the ungating process, which is linked on the website, and try to get ungated. So they're kind of at the same point as this, the first sellers. And then the third group of people got no email, which is weird. And it may be because of their feedback or their history, um, their performance. It could be, um, you know, being grandfathered. But some people haven't been affected yet. And I won't say that everybody won't be affected because it could happen. I don't sell CDs and music, so it won't hurt my Amazon at all. Um, it is concerning to me, though, because I sell a lot of video games through Amazon. And Pokemon, for those of you that don't know, is a really highly faked video game. There's a lot of video games that people copy the CDs, they copy the cartridges, even the little DS games get um, counterfeited, uh, and Game Boy Advance games a lot. And two of the biggest counterfeited games are anything Pokemon and anything Mario. Um, there's a lot of fake Marios, like Super Mario World for Game Boy Advance is faked a lot. Uh, but Pokemon is probably the single biggest one, and it's because they demand the highest prices, they're the most popular, they sell quicker. Um, obviously, Pokemon uh, is, you know, the biggest thing in video gaming, so they're going to be the most faked. So they're mostly restricted for me on Amazon. Back in the day, I used to be able to list Pokemon games, like, burn it up with, like, 50 Pokemon games. And I'm pretty good at telling if they're real or not, so I never had any trademark or infringements or claims of any of my games being fake. Then one day, I tried to list like five or six, and uh, there was a couple of them that were restricted. Said, you can't list this one. You can list this one, but you can't list this one. So I would just throw it up on eBay, no big deal. I'd sell it. Um, and then all of a sudden, one day, we got like 20 or 25 Pokemon games, and I literally couldn't list like 15 of them. And I was like, whoa, this is bad. They restricted more titles. Um, and then I had to sell those on eBay. And now it's pretty much to the point where I, there's only a few Pokemon games I can sell on Amazon that I'm not restricted for. With my history, they don't care. So I just put all my Pokemon games on eBay, um, and that's pretty much how I handled that. But it's kind of scary with it starting at Pokemon that it might go over to video games, which if it does, that would crush any business I do on Amazon. I don't do a ton of business on Amazon as it is, only a couple thousand, um, but uh, it's all video games. I sell the occasional tablet or iPad. I've sold a laptop. I sell you know, some accessories sometimes, but mainly it's video games. It's like 90% video games. So... If they decide to restrict that category and I can't get ungated, my Amazon days are over and I will be moving that all to eBay. So, um, you know, that's a thousand active items I have on Amazon, give or take. Uh, I think it was like 980 the other day. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of a scary thing. I like Amazon, but this whole restricting people is kind of, you know, not just scary, but it's sad because Amazon has a huge base of third party sellers and they're taking that away i think they're leaning on the big time sellers or private label like you buy um your own cable you brand it with rockstar flipper cables and you sell it and that's like pretty much the only way you're going to be able to survive on amazon so i know that was kind of long i just wanted to talk on that and hint on it um i'll link a story down below about the restriction of uh music 
in the music category on Amazon for you guys to check out and read. You can also look it up on Reddit. You can look it up on the forums, the selling forums, or just Google it. You'll see a lot of stuff. The second thing I want to share with you guys about Amazon, this is from the buying side. Um, Amazon has responded to Walmart dropping its minimum order for free shipping. For those of you guys that don't know, um, Walmart lowered its uh, free shipping requirement. If you spend $35 or more on Walmart, they will do free shipping. Um, they did that, I think, in like January or February. It was on the, on the top trending stories. Amazon previously was more than that. I think it was $50 for free shipping, Prime or non-Prime members. Um, and now the new threshold uh, is $25. So that's pretty cool. Amazon is going to respond um, to Walmart there, making it $10 cheaper. Um, so they're, they're trying to keep pace with Walmart. Walmart trying to keep pace with them. Um, of course, Walmart rolled out the two-day shipping for orders over $35 as well. Um, but So it's back and forth. So the only person that's benefiting here is the buyers. I mean, obviously, Walmart and Amazon are still making money, but you guys get to... Um, to buy stuff, spend enough money, and get it shipped for free, and two-day in some cases. So I'll link this story down there. It's from CNBC. Uh, I watch CNBC a lot, and I follow uh, their website. So um, I'll link this story for you guys. Just something as a heads up. Part of my job and duty here on YouTube is to bring you guys the latest, not just sales and what I sold and what I'm doing, but the latest news from these websites as well. So um, this is news from Amazon, $25 free shipping, uh, and that's pretty awesome. I do buy quite a bit from Amazon, so that's going to help me as well. So check that story out. I'll link it down below as well with the other ones. And the last thing I want to show you guys, if you don't know, this is a bolo. Good luck finding one, but if you happen upon it, grab it. Uh, if you didn't see the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie, Chris Pratt, of course, came out. It did like, uh, I don't know, $400 million over the thing. Um, over the weekend. The TPS L2 is a Walkman that appears in the movie. It came out in July 1979. You can read it here. I'll link the Hollywood Reporter story for you guys. Um, it retailed for $200 originally. Now, all the way up until about, which was almost $600 in today's uh, money, but a couple months ago, it wasn't worth very much. Here's what it looks like. It's a TPS-L2 Walkman. Right now, they are selling for anywhere from $150 to $200 on eBay. I looked up a few. Feel free um, to, uh, to look them up, but you'll find them. The other thing is, if you can find the original headphones, they're MDR 3L2 headphones in orange, um, it'll make it worth a ton more money. So it looks like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy did $145 million at the box office on the weekend. Not $400 million, my fault. But anyways, it was a popular movie. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to go see it this week or weekend. Um, Anyways, uh, if you find one of these, pick them up. They're worth at least 150. If you get the original headphones, much, much more. I would imagine two, 250. But you can get 150 out of them. So if you see one at a yard sale, garage sale, Bolo, pick that sucker up and sell it. There's the model number TPS-L2, and I will link the story down below. Just a short little news uh, video for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and uh, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel, of course, and check out all the links down below. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, please join the Facebook group. We're trying to get to 30,000 members, so we really appreciate it. That's linked in my description box down below. Just hit the more button. And once you're in there, there's a ton of good people, a ton of nice people who will help you out with questions. Um, and also there are some links for some really great products that if you need uh, for Megan or for me, um, you can check those out as well. So thanks a lot, everybody. I'll see you next time. Have a great night.